In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to integrate a vanity URL system into your um, existing website um, as long as you have a user database, somewhere where you store files about your users. Now, I've opened up PHP in my admin um, and I've called the database vanity. So I'm just going to click on this and you'll see that I've just only got one table. Obviously, this is for tutorial purposes. We've got a table called users. Now inside this table we've got um, records of users now in your table um, inside your database you may have um, obviously more fields things like that but for now I've just got um, two records and I've got for the first one Alex London and then a description of say what I'm doing or about me or something like that so this is all you really need all you need is um, to be able to store a username inside um, your existing um, table or in your database so um, as long as your database looks something like this and you have a username for your reg uh, your registered users which I presume you already would have then uh, this tutorial um, hopefully will be a success to you now what we're also doing is we're also um, using um, an HT access file um, so a dot HT access file um, and this is going to allow us to um, automatically recognize a um, a username that's um, appended to the end of a um, website address that would usually be associated with a folder. So I'm doing forward slash Alex. When I when I um, when I type forward slash Alex at the end of this, um, you see I get Alex's profile up here. So there's not a folder called Alex, um, but our HT access file um, is actually handling this for us, and it's telling us to look for this, and it's telling us to. Um, transfer this data here, so Alex, um, to our PHP um, file which is profile.php and it's handling it this way. Now this is what the HT access file looks like. Um, now I constructed this from looking around on Google. I don't know how to do it myself, um, I'm not an exp expert on HT access um, or anything that you can use inside them, but this is the um, this is the HT access document that I am using. This is how I've written it. Um, and like I said, it's been constructed from me googling around, having a look at how to uh, do specific things, and then putting it all together. Now, there are some, there's one important aspect of this, and this is the address just here. Okay, so I'll just highlight that. Now, you can see that this has got several elements. It's got obviously the website address. I'm using localhost um, on a local server. And then it's obviously got all these um, folder names here, and then the last folder name is vanity URL. Now, the reason I'm doing this is obviously I keep my tutorials in these folders, but you're welcome to use something like localhost forward slash profile.php, or in fact, um, your site name here, um, and then forward slash profile.php. And then your, um, your name, the name of your user, will be appended onto site.com. But for now, what I'm doing is the um, username of my user is being appended onto um, the end of this long um, address here. Since the vanity URL folder is my sort of root directory for this um, tutorial, if that makes sense. Otherwise, just follow what I've just told you inside the um, HT access document. Now, like I said, I don't have much knowledge of the HT access document that I've created here. So what I urge you to do is just pause the video for a moment. Um, copy this down um, as well as you can and obviously um, this part here is variable this is what you want to change um, to um, include this with your own uh, website um, URL and all you're going to need to do is keep this part the same so it's profile.php and then we've got a question mark so we're passing some get data and the get data is um, the variable name is you and this is going to equal dollar sign one so this dollar sign one needs to say the same um, this profile.php file needs to say the same. I mean, you can change the profile.php um, section if you like, uh, the file name if you like, but obviously the rest of it is variable depending on your website address and obviously the folders um, you are using or folders you're not using, like I just explained, you can have it straight from your um, website URL and the, the root directory. Okay, so if you take a moment to copy that down, um, and what we'll do is we'll move on to the connect.php file and in fact I'll give you a demonstration of the um, the script first and show you how it works okay so we're gonna go ahead to the um, demonstration of the script uh, like I said it works um, through the um, username um, at the end of the 
of the end of the um, the web address or the folders that you've put this in in my case vanity URL folder um, so I've got Alex and this is um, brought up my profile and then I can just type in for example Jade and then it comes up with um, this Jade's profile here okay so basically um, that's the demonstration of the tutorial um, we're going to start coding oh and sorry the index.php file which I've created here um, is nothing but home I mean this is obviously the index.php file that you're going to be using I've just used this um, so as I access um, this we've got something uh, just to see um, at the start of it okay so we're gonna get on with the coding now okay so the first file we want to create um, if you haven't already connected your, to your database I presume you already have but we need to connect to our database so we're gonna open up um, PHP tags as we normally would and we're using the MySQL connect function um, I'm first of all connecting to localhost uh, then what I'm doing is I'm uh, using the username root and I don't currently have a password set but this is where your password would usually go okay so the next thing is to select the database so we're using MySQL select DB and we're selecting the database vanity and like I showed you before this um, database is here so we've selected this database here um, and that's basically it for the um, the connect.php file now inside the profile.php file this is where the data from using the HT access document which hopefully you've already copied down um, and changed this part of it this is where it will go so we've got profile.php and we've got profile.php here and like I said before we're using a get variable called u and this is going to transfer um, well, this is going to equal what we've appended to the end of the um, web address so the first thing we want to do um, is we're going to be using um, redirect so we're going to be using ob underscore start this just ensures that we don't have any errors when we're using our redirects so I can just say here handle redirects okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to include um, our connect.php file uh, obviously what this is going to do is just include this for us um, so we can connect to our database successfully so we'll go ahead and test this out okay so we're not returned with any errors um, usually we would be you can append um, things like or die mysql error onto the end and what this will do is this will give you an exact reference of the uh, mysql error that's returned if we can't connect um, but for now I'm just keeping this blank um, yeah. okay so the next thing we're going to do is check if um, this variable has been set so if this get variable has been set um, and we're going to use an if statement so we're going to use if and then some uh, rounded brackets so standard brackets and we're using the is set command and the standard notation for um, a get variable or a post variable obviously we, we're using get here um, is dollar underscore get and then we're using square parenthesis so square brackets and we've got two um, inverted commas inside there so two single quotation marks okay so inside here obviously we're going to be putting u because this is the um, the get um, variable name that we've specified here and then we're going to open up some curly brackets and we're going to come along to um, set a more user-friendly um, and easy accessible um, variable for this get um, variable here so I'm just simply going to call it username and that's going to equal mysql under real escape underscore string and then we're going to pop dollar underscore get u inside there so basically what we're doing is we're just popping this inside a variable called username we're using the mysql real escape string function to provide some sql um, injection prevention and later on what we're going to do or in, in a minute actually what we're going to do is we're going to um, provide even more sql protection by checking if it's alphanumeric and um, this means that you can have um, letters um, of the alphabet or you can have numbers so with um, an sql injection you'd typically find things out of this scope so this also helps to um, project, protect against uh, SQL injection as well and to do this we're going to open up another if statement so we're using a nested if statement inside this if statement here and this is going to be C type underscore al num so obviously al num stands for alpha numeric and we're 
enclosing in rounded brackets username. So the first thing we're doing is we're checking if the um, username is alphanumeric. Um, if it is alphanumeric, we're going to come down and open up a new block. And inside here, we're going to then um, go ahead to check if the username exists. So to do this, we're going to um, execute a MySQL query or run a MySQL query. And I'm going to put this into a variable called data. So we've got MySQL underscore query. You may or may not be familiar with this command. Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you are. And the query is going to be select username, comma, location, comma, description from users. So this is our table name. Um, these are the fields that we're using. Uh, rather than using star to select all the data, including the ID, which we don't really need to use in this case, we're just selecting the data that we need to uh, speed things up a bit and to uh, get a nice visual of what we are selecting so we know what we're selecting from users where username, so this is the field name, equals, and then in um, inverted commas here, single quotation marks, dollar underscore username. So we're selecting um, the data that we need from the um, table users. So the table is here. Um, we're selecting username, location, and description from this. Um, and we're using a condition. So where username equals um, in the username variable. And the username variable is the um, username that's been appended to the end of the uh, web address, like we got from here. From here, sorry, and then we added it into a, um, a easily readable and um, variable name. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is come down, and we want to check the n number of rows that have been returned. Now, we want to check that they're equal to one. If they are equal to one, it means that a username has been returned um, on by this condition, and it means that it does exist. So we're going to use if MySQL num rows data and data is our um, query that we've just already run here we've, this is why we've stored it in a variable and we're going to say if this is equal to one okay and then we're going to come down and we're going to open up yet again a new block and basically what this is going to do inside here is we're going to grab the data so we can display it to the user Okay, so this is the first part of the tutorial. Um, in the second part, we're going to be doing exactly what I've just explained, and we're going to be grabbing this data um, from the database and displaying it. Okay, so join me in the next part.